Here's some exceptions to the rules we spent the last few lessons learning. The first is incomplete dominance. This is a case of white and black really making gray. One reason this misconception took so long to eradicate is that sometimes things really do work that way. Sometimes both alleles are dominant, and instead of one or the other showing up in the phenotype, they mix together. This is most easily seen in the flower colors of flowers like carnations, snapdragons, and roses. Red and white alleles together result in pink flowers. Next is codominance. Sometimes you see this in flower color or in the color of animal fur. Again, we have two dominant alleles, but instead of mixing together in the phenotype like they do for incomplete dominance, in codominance, both show up. You'll see red and white splotches, for instance, if red and white alleles are together. And finally, there are traits that have more than two possible alleles. Blood type works this way. You can have type A blood or type B blood, or you can have type O blood. O is recessive, but A and B are codominant, which is why you can also have type AB blood. That's what you get if you have both the A and B allele. There aren't a lot of traits with multiple alleles for the same gene, but there are a lot of polygenic traits. In humans, eye color, skin color, hair color, and height are all coded for by more than one gene, so it can be very challenging to predict the probable outcomes for human offspring where these traits are concerned. Stay awesome!